Well, we're starting on the main part of the gate today. Say hi, Don. Hi, Don. Follows instructions very well. I do. The other day we cut out these pieces. Now we're going to weld them up. This is the 3x4 main frame. And I don't have a huge long table to do all this on, so I rely on three point method. Uh, I'm going to use a laser here. Self leveling. Not really expensive ones, but it does a good job. Then you can see what's going on over here on your points. And then we'd level that part over there. We've gone through the procedure and that this and that end are all the exact same height this end's parallel we got it grooved a little bit and we're going to finish fitting it up and weld them together say bye don bye don gotta love him sorry for the air conditioning noise but it's hot out there we turned them off got one corner three-sided welded up ready to go now we'll measure off this corner and get all the others done is that right Don that's right anything you say sir thank you I like the sir part you like yeah, that that's through that's that end just, yeah. right. just just suck up a little bit you could be using your newfound skill of paint chipping I could while you're standing here I could mm -hmm. But you're not going to, are you? I didn't think so. I don't think my hands can take it. Oh, well, back later. Put tack on that puppy right now. Hold it. That looks pretty good. Yep. Excellent. Don said excellent. Excellent day. 
Mais les filles. En bon. Electrons will go all the way to the table from there? Yeah. Maybe not very well, but they will. sides of the four welded from this side. I don't have to flip it over just to weld that one. What we're going to do is lay out the interior stuff. The X's and the braces and all that. And, have to flip it once. and then we will go on. Okay. Now that we have to think about this. Um, now we can take and clamp a three-quarter inch piece of material, angle on or something, along the bottom of all of this, and that will give us a shelf for the next pieces to lay on. Well, I'm trying to work in a too small shop. Don't be off. Yeah. Senior shop. It's got air conditioning. for the back. Almost through. Crop, crop, crop. You'd drop if I hung you with a new rope. Hey, hey, hey. Plan ahead. I'm gonna get in there. The thing doesn't have a lever or anything on it to do that No. Way?
Ta-da. That looks real nice, Don. But what about all this mess you've left around here? My God. Bitch, who's bitching now? It, it, it's just terrible. I just saved you about an hour worth of cutting. Yeah, you did really well. I like that. You get you one of them, it's really handy. They come in handy. Especially on plates, too. If you I'll put that on my shopping list. Yeah, especially if you For the next time I come to your shop. <laughs> you bet. Especially if you're cutting big plate. Oh, yeah. It really comes in handy. That's what that plasma table's going to do. This is true. I don't have one of those. Yet. I'm going to bolt mine to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one you got to watch with me. Yeah. I'll take that one out. All right, let's get this mess broke apart and lay it out. That should be one of them right there. Right on. Right on. Right on. All right. Well, you cut the other one and weld it, or you do it on top? Oh, I know you have to cut it. It gets cut for this square. So now we need to figure out where the square is going to that's go. That's true, that's true. I forgot about and that. Get it set up. Yeah, I forgot uh, about that. While you were sleeping, I cut a yeah, I saw that. piece from the middle, put all these together, and cut off the uh, old hinge off that plate. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is draw us a center line through this pipe. If it fit, if it was the right size to fit on all the diagonals in a diamond pattern instead of one on each side. Yeah, but if you get the right size too, then it would be better to fit up. Well, the way these cross here, mm -hmm. they cross and hit on this side of it. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't do this side unless you made it a funky angle for each one. That's what I'm saying, it would have to be right, exactly the right shape. No, no, I mean, this, to get something to land on these over oh, here, yeah, yeah. you'd have to have this X at a different, it wouldn't be an X, it would be a... That's correct. Got to that. You'd have to have a piece that came in like that, yeah, and that wouldn't work. Okay, well, just just don't go so. Hold on. Let's see. taking all the preload out of it. Mm -hmm. Then when you finish clamping, it's usually really, really close. 
All right, that's pretty close. That is definitely a lot of close. See if I can see it any better like this. So we got that tacked up over there and here. Now, one of the things you run into when you put things at an angle like this is it's very hard to get in there and weld that solid. And every gate fence I make is always welded completely. That way no rust gets in there and over the years stains the paint and everything so what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of quarter inch or, or bigger uh, steel rod cut it to an inch and a half thickness and stick it in there and that'll bring it out here where I can weld it all up solid Let's see if we get Don doing that for us oh Don Now I got that all closed up. Not gonna rust when the rain comes. Continue on. It's okay. Touch-up grinding, I think should be fine. This is this section is complete now. We'll move to the next section. That will help a lot.
about you guys? There you go. You look much better now. 